Hi, my name is Justin Smith from PAR, and I'm sitting here with Dr. Michael Shanazarian, author of the Earning Capacities Assessment Form, second edition, also known as the ECAF-2. Dr. Shanazarian is the founder of the Career Consultants of America, located here in Tampa, Florida. Uh, his practice specializes in career development, human resources consultation, life care planning, and vocational rehabilitation. Additionally, Dr. Shanazarian has consulted and testified as an expert witness on, life, on vocational and life care plan issues throughout the United States and abroad. He has served as president of the National Career Development Association and was appointed to the Florida Rehabilitation Council in 1998. So Dr. Shanazarian, what is the ECAF-2 and what does it do? The ECAF-2 is a paper and pencil format rating form that is designed to facilitate raters' evaluations of claims of loss of earning capacity. What it does is provide a systematic method to help evaluators evaluate key criteria that are associated with claims of loss of earning capacity. And uh, is this product appropriate for any age range? It is. It's appropriate for pediatric through people who are near retirement age, yes. And how long does it take to administer the ECAP to? The more experience you have using the instrument, the more proficient you'll be and the quicker it'll be for you. When you're starting out and you're not familiar with all the criteria, there are 14 different factors and they're rated hierarchically. So by the time you get familiar with it, you, you use the user's manual, you get familiar with the rating criteria. I would say at the onset it'll probably take you 15 to 20 minutes, but when you become more comfortable with the interpretation guidelines and you know the criteria more, as little as five minutes. Excellent. And who is this uh, product appropriate for? The product is appropriate for people who have a background in vocational rehabilitation, tests and measurements, and people who have familiarity with the forensic environment, specifically as it pertains to evaluating people who have injuries, okay. either cognitive and or physical injuries. And what inspired you to create this product? I've been practicing as a vocational rehabilitation expert for almost 30 years. And over the years, I've been very sensitive to the demands from lawyers, from jurors, from other experts, demands to standardize and bring more science to the discipline of vocational rehabilitation. And early on, uh, after I've been practicing for several years, I developed an interest in ways to put more science and discipline into measuring claims of loss of earning capacity. What is unique or special about the ECAF-2? The ECAF-2 is the only commercially available measure to facilitate raters' evaluations of claims of loss of earning capacity. It had been under research and development for over a decade, and there are several peer-reviewed publications that speak to its validity and reliability criteria. So that is quite unique. And can you please describe examples or scenarios in which you would use the ECAF-2, or which one of our customers could use the ECAF-2? ECAF-2 is very useful in situations where individuals have acquired disabling problems, either physical and or cognitive problems, such as amputation injuries, spinal cord injuries, burn injuries, orthopedic musculoskeletal injuries, or a combination of these. And the individual is proceeding with a claim that their acquired disabling problems somehow impair their ability to work, earn wages, and compete in the marketplace, either now or in the future. So, for example, I just used the ECAF-2 in a case that involved a firefighter who is 53 years old and was injured in a motor vehicle accident. And one of her injuries had to do with a hip injury, and she ultimately had a hip replacement and was pursuing a claim of loss of earning capacity that not now, but in the future, her ability to work as a firefighter will be impaired because of this disabling problem that she has. And the ECAF-2 is useful in evaluating 14 different key criteria to assess whether or not there was a claim of loss of earning capacity that was merited. Is the ECAF-2 something that will stand up in court to cross-examination? Generally, the more science that is behind an opinion that an expert is providing in court, the more rigor and the more robust and the more um, strong the opinion will stand up to vigorous cross-examination. So in remembering how the ECAF-2 was developed, it was developed, first of all, based on a literature review in four different disciplines, psychology, economics, career development, and vocational rehabilitation. And the 14 factors that undergird the ECAF were derived through that literature review. After that, there was over a decade of 
different empirical research that was initiated to assess different types of validity, different types of reliability that the instrument possesses. So the ECAF-2 is built on the foundation of the science of vocational rehabilitation, and that gives it more withstanding power and more rigor in the courtroom. <clears throat> How can administering the ECAF-2 uh, assist a psychologist who has a private practice and is trying to look for extra income for himself or herself or the practice? In an era where psychologists are dependent primarily, especially private practice psychologists, on managed care, um, other types of reimbursement, and especially when we have an economic downturn like we have, I find that many psychologists are looking at ways to expand their pra practices and bring in more revenue streams. The forensic market is one market that is available to qualified psychologists who have a background in vocational rehabilitation and are interested in providing opinions on claims of loss of earning capacity. What value does the ECAF-2 add to the toolbox of assessments that a psychologist has? What does this product do that uh, they may not be able to do currently? The ECAF-2 is a tool for psychologists who have a background in vocational rehabilitation, have a background in tests and measurements, and have familiarity with the forensic environment. It is a tool for psychologists who meet that criteria to expand their practice in another area that will help generate revenue. If you're interested in learning more about the ECAF-2, please visit our website at www.parink.com. The ECAF-2 is available for $90 for the introductory kit, which comes with the manual and a package of rating forms. Thank you, Dr. Shanazarian, for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you.